So back into the Zohar. And this time we're going to be looking at the Pirish of the Matuk Milavaj. Matuk Milavaj in English means sweeter than honey. And that really is what you have in the Zohar is sweet, sweet, sweet for the soul. Let me see if I can bring this up a little bit. And we'll take a look at the Matuk Milavaj, his commentary on these words that we learned. So the, the Zohar said, The Parsha begins, if you do, if you start, if you listen to me, and you follow the path that I've laid out for you. So he said, And you keep my mitzvahs, and you do them. So where we have all the rebukes, there's a tremendous rebuke in this Parsha, goes on. Which is a part of a, a promise of a curse that we make for ourselves. The chain, Rebbe Chia, Pasa, Rebbe Chia began and said, Hikdin the Farish Masha Kosset Ami, my people. Zohar na ma yods bolak melech moav, koomer halo et sasu hoisu the kalosho. What was his advice? He wanted to destroy you, mina oilum, ayedesha karo as bilam the kalkak of the kalolho, be es hazong, at the time there would be a time. Where Ben Abila knew the ways of the times, and he knew there would be a time when the curse would work on you. The Ma Allo also Ma Heshi Lo Bila Ma Ezam Lo Zom and Hashem. How can I curse something that Hashem doesn't curse? He uses the word. It's an unusual word, which is the word Zom. It's a lotion of a kind of a deadly curse. He Necha Halotion. This language Heim Daber To Kol To Chocho. So this is really the whole parsha here, is a rebuke. The hitim and armor they began. He said like this: Ashrei chelkam shall ma shall shall am bnei so happy is the person, the the per the the portion of my people, of the Jewish people. She ribonim mokiach osam kach that they're actually the rebuke of the ribonim shaloydim who is the master of all things, whether they be blessings or whether they be curses. That he is he is re rebuking you, Hainu. He says, "Afal pishatim sarsim madarchi." That even though you turned away from my path, you had this rave and all this behavior that you're doing down in the kibbutzim where the massacre took place. Even so, you're doing that. and you turned away from my my ways. Mishum kach ruuyim ayisin the kol the bol balam. You were worthy. To be completely and totally destroyed. Hashem didn't destroy all the Jewish people. He massacred the people that were at the rave. Im with all of this, Amiatem, you're still my people. You are the only people who are capable of bringing my light into this dark world. He says, I do not want, I did not want, I do not want to punish you and to do to you according to all that you have, you deserve coming to you. So therefore we say like this, these are words of rebuke, but they're words of rebuke with love. Let's see a little bit more. Rabbi Yitzchak Amar, Rabbi Chitza began to say, let me see if we get this lined up, there we go. Polig v'amar she'enin divrei tochacho. So Rabbi, Rabbi Yitzchak said, this is not a rebuke. El divrei is not loose. It's an apology. What is that? Kolomar kol ritzoni v'hete v'chem. Everything that I want is only to do good to you. I want to bless you. I want you to bring blessing into the world for everybody. And according to the mouth of the Most High, nothing bad will happen. Rock of but only your behavior, your sins. Gormim onshim, that's what causes these punishments. And this is what it says as the Ashrei Chelkam Shal Am Bnei happy is the first portion of the Jewish people. Shall rebonim shall rebonim that their master Amalachem b'pasuk akodim he says to them person person he says in this pasuk Ami ma'asisi l'cha my people what have I done to you zechor ma ma'od rov tova now he says that a little differently he says ma ma'od rov tova look and see how great is all the goodness asisi l'cha that I did for you 
And what is the thing that really tired you? What you so the hakviv olai 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 that made the yoke, which is, means the, the burden of carrying the Torah in the world, which is not really a burden, because the burden itself and all of the all of the difficulty that we have of going through a four thousand years to be able to keep carrying the Torah with us, he says that's not a, that, that's not hard. That's not really hard. This is your glory. So he says. Ha'ed Lomar, so he testifies, Ha'ed be, and he said, Lomar, hine bezer hagatani, that this is what really was the hardest part. He mamshech Lomar kan, rei kama tovus asisa lechem, and he goes back and he says, look, I did all kinds of great things for you. You might have thought it was hard, but all of that difficulty is like plowing a field, which eventually will bear fruit. And this is what it meant, uh, this is why it says like this, Ma Yoitz Bolak Melak Moab. What was the desire of, 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 of Bolak, the king of Moab? He never become a milim of Avadim, Amad the Shait Saul, the Huba Alma, the Bakama Devar Mamazim, of so many different words, all different kinds of plots and deeds. Shall Mini Kishov, and in those days they used black magic. The Kasa Vakasim and curses go along with the black magic. Amr Bullock, the Kalos Asachem in the Oilem, and Bullock really wanted to destroy you completely from the world. Well, what do you think? The Europeans during World War II, you have to think about what it's really like, what it was really like to take people from their homes, put them in cattle cars, and send them to their death. It wasn't a short trip either. There was no food and there was no water. The cattle cars were cramped and, and piled together where people were were living in anything to get out of those cars, but they, and they finally did at Auschwitz and other places like it. This is actually the collaboration of all of the Europeans to get rid of their Jews, to finally get rid of all of the Jews. So he said, Vakama Kashafim, Heyer the Negdom, how many were they aroused all different kinds of witchcraft? So the Nazis had machine guns and gas chambers. But I didn't let them completely destroy you. And we're going to get into that more. Now let's go a little bit more and let's see more. So he says, Amar Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi, Rabbi Yossi says like this, Amar Lechem HaKodesh Baruch Hu L'Yisrael. HaKodesh Baruch Hu now says to the Jewish people. Below he says, Zohar No. Now Zohar No, again, as I said, is really the con concept of please. They say it in a nice way. Belush and Zahira. Look at listen to the pronouncements of the government of Israel. And it is true they're really on the wrong tack, and it's very hard to see what will cause them to recognize that I am Hashem, I am Hashem, I am the ruler of everything, I am in the midst of everything. Can't seem to find their way to that, not yet. Belush and the Zahira. Remember, find your way back to me. But they didn't listen. We don't listen. So he says, Oy, Lord, a wall for me. For us. That we, we cry out every single day. And we bellow out and we, and, and we cry and we say, Zohar Lano, so to remember the Zohar Hashem, Mahoyu Lano. So we say, look, remember Hashem, we had great glory, we had easy times, we had wonderful food and restaurants, and we, we enjoyed ourselves. The old Sochim, they climb, they climb more. Zohar Hashem lived in Eden, but then wait a minute. Be Eden is Europe. Europe just conducted a mass, just a few years ago, 75 years ago massive massacre of Jewish people led by the Germans. But that didn't mean the Ukrainians weren't involved. It didn't mean that the, the Romanians, the Hungarians, the French, all of them were all involved. He doesn't really want to pay attention to us. He wanted to say that there's a possibility that Hashem forgot you. Elohu Mishalim Midig and Neged Midig, but what happens is there's a balance scale. And he pays us back 
according to what we do. Who amalala babakasham mechem, babakasham mechem. So he says, please. He's making a request. He's saying it in a nice way. Lashem bakasha, a request, a please. So we say he's not listening to us, but the truth is, is that we don't listen to him. Now we are been through so much, and those of us who are living in the United States have been, we're all the children of refugees. And I remember Rabbi Memram saying to me that if you look at the refugees who came here, and you say, well, a lot of them went off the derech, I mean, uh, the majority of them, but don't judge them like that, because being transported from one world, which is the world of Eastern Europe, or there was it in Asia, or the world of, of North Africa, uh, from going those places, coming from those places, you have a completely different dimensional reality to come here, and how does one feed himself is a big problem. It's happened to us over and over again. So he says, like, So we say that all of these changes, Mida Keneged Mida, what you do, you get paid for. So we cry out, Remember what it used to be like for us? Then remember also that we have enemies. So remember your congregation. You acquired us. We are your people from way back when. And he goes on, he says, It seems to us, that Hashem doesn't want to listen to us. Rabbi Yehuda Ha'omer Vada'i Kudshe Baruchu Ashkach Alon Tader V'doch Alon. Vada'i Kodesh Baruchu Kodesh Baruchu Mashgiach Alena, but he really does pay detailed attention to us. Tommy. V'zochar, V'zochar, Hosanna, and he remembers us, the Haiti Vimana, to do good things with us. V'ein Lomek Rabbi Yosi, well, we don't say it like Rebbe Yosef. She'en HaKadosh Baruch Hu wrote to the Hashgir HaLeinu. He doesn't really want to pay attention to us. It's really up to us to get his attention. Ki, he says, Ki, im lo choyakach. If it wasn't for the fact that HaKadosh Baruch Hu actually does look at us. You have to see that what happened before World War II was that there was a tremendous movement in the Jewish, Eastern Jewish world, which is where the most of the Jews were, would be from Hungary, Eastern, eastward, to throw off the yoke of the kingdom of heaven and to become Gentiles. And this actually affected uh, the discourse and the life of the majority, the vast majority of Jews. Then comes the Holocaust, the Holocaust which kills millions kills millions of us in the worst imaginable ways, but nonetheless, we're not all gone. Because the Kodesh Baruch Hu, in even as bad as we were, that we threw off the yoke of the kingdom of heaven, and we wanted to become Gentiles, then the Kodesh Baruch Hu is not going to let that happen. So Kodesh Baruch Mashgiach be as well. He watches every move we make. The Zohar Hosan, the Shmor Hosan, and he watches the Jewish people, remembers the Jewish people, to be able to guard them. Lo, and in, imagine we're living in Rome. Imagine we're living in the extension of Rome. We're living in, in Spain. We're living in, 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 this, in a Latin country. We're living in Portugal. We're living in France. We're living then moving to Germany. We're living in Poland. We're living in Romania and Hungary and Eastern Europe and Lithuania and Russia. We're living in all of these places. These are people who hate us. But we're still here. The Zashiv Kosov, and this is the meaning of this Pasuk. Ba'af gam zois behi yosem be'eretz ovechem. Also this, when you're living in the land of your enemies. Lo ma'astim v'ko'altim v'ko'losam. They're not going to be able to destroy you. They're not going to be able to hate you so much that they want to get rid of you completely. Ba'afa b'risem. Because what will happen then? The bris... Bris is sexual purity, the idea of living a life of holiness. We're not going to let that completely happen to you. Ki ani Hashem Elokeichem, I Hashem your God. Kodesh Baruch Hu Eina Ozi Imanu Gemaseinu. In the end, as bad as we can get, Kodesh Baruch Hu does not want to do to us like our deeds.
pay us back pound for pound. This is Boris Fleischman, and you've been listening to the Tikkun Elevator call out of the Matuk Bedivash on the Zohar and the Parsha of this week.